PCL5 is highly reactive than PCL3. To understand very clearly, let us see the structure of PCL5, phosphorus pentachloride molecule. PCL5 molecule has trigonal pyramidal structure. In PCL5 molecule, we can see that 5 PCL bonds are present. These 5 PCL bonds are not equal in size. Among these 5, 3 PCL bonds are having that same length 202 picometer, 202 picometer, and also same angle. They form equatorial bonds. When compared to equatorial bonds, we can see that two other bonds are there, they are longer in size. So these bonds we call as axial bonds. These bonds are longer, 240 picometer. We know that electrons repel each other, whether if it is lone pair or bond pair. Here we have that bond pair, bond pair repulsion. So to reduce that, to minimize this bond pair repulsion, this axial bonds are longer in PCL5 molecule. But in PCL3 molecule, phosphorus is attached to 3 chlorine atoms. So we have only 3 PCL bonds. All of these bonds are equivalent in size 204 picometer. So compared to PCL5, in PCL3, the bond pair bond pair repulsion is less. Hence, PCL5 is very reactive. Because it has a trigonal pyramidal structure and the three equatorial PCL bonds are equivalent while the two axial PCL bonds are longer than equatorial bonds to minimize repulsion from bond pair electrons of equatorial bond. PCL5 decomposes on stronger heating and forms PCL3. This shows that PCL5 molecule is highly reactive than PCL3 molecule. Thanks for watching.